guys welcome back to Isiano it's Max from X Creation TV in today's video we are going to talk about what you call a freelancer visa yes we call it a freelancer visa some of them call it a free visa and normally this freelancer visa I'm going to talk about people who are outside Qatar or who are outside Qatar looking for a freelancer visa yes you are looking at the freelancer visa you've gotten this person to give you a freelancer visa but still there are some things that you need to understand when we are find this visa yes what I need to let you know, most of the time that you, when you get that visa, that visa has got through what you call a couple of hands. Remember, people who are supposed to give out these visas are normally what you call the Qatari or the nationals of the country. And remember, most of us are residents. So you find that for you to get that sponsor, that freelancer visa, maybe you are outside the country, you are using an agent or you're using a person. This person has another person is getting the visa from, then another person from the visa from, then another person who is the first recipient of the visa or who is a blocker to that national. So you find that that freelancer visa you have, it has gone through what you call four hands, four different people to reach you, blocker from blocker from another blocker from another blocker until it reaches you. What happens? That you may find that person, yes, that freeze, that person will agree with you that you're going to give me 3,000 or 4,000 Qatarian. Then you have deposit for the visa, you come into the country. Yes, you've come into the country. Most of the time, you may not know what you call the right sponsor. You may not know what you call that right sponsor of that visa. Why? Because this visa, freelancer, is has gone through what you call a couple of hands. So what do you need to do? Most of the times that uh, you find that these blockers get to run away from you and you need to first complete that money before you can look at, uh, you can look, or you can have that rightful sponsor of the visa because remember when you come here with the freelancer you're coming for the first time you are coming out of the country you need to pay for your food you need to pay for your accommodation you need to pay for your kata id yes you, all those charges are going to be on you so this middle money will tell you one unless you finish unless you pay me all my balance if you agreed according to that you pay me back my balance then i'll i'll, I'll, I'll make sure i see I take you to the right signatory of that visa, which is called, which is going to definitely going to be a Qatari. And most of the time, what you need to take into consideration is that most of these middlemen, after getting the money, they'll run away. But remember, you've not gotten the, you've not gotten the ID itself. Then, because that is very important, that's going to permit you to live in the country. So you're left stranded. You are left stranded in the country. But remember, I keep on telling people, as you are coming for this freelancer visa and you are coming from out, even if you are inside this country and you know you're going to change to look at that opportunity, make sure you have money with you because everything is going to be on you. All the single bill is going to be on you. Katide is going to be on you, and your housing, your food, your transport, all is going to be on you. Even health itself is going to be on you. So you better be prepared that you have enough money. So I'm looking at for the people who are coming from outside. What will come is that this person will run away. You don't know the real sponsor of the visa. So what do you need to do? I will advise you if the better way you can go to the Ministry of Labor if you don't know or you can go to any police, ask them I need to find out the sponsor of this visa. Because now at this time you need someone who's going to sign or signature on your signature on what you call your Qatar ID application which you will need to have. So probably you have to look for that person and that person is going to do it. That's the only way. So meaning that at the end of, 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 of the weather, you need to be very careful as you are coming for these visas and you did need to be a little bit very careful because you never know. You are coming but you are on, on your own and don't come if you don't have the money, you don't have an extra money that is going to take care of you because it's the only way that you're going to survive here and it's the only way. And definitely I keep on telling you, you have the free lines of visa but make sure the job that you are looking for is going to be about 3,000 3,000 Qataria because if you are going to have a free lines of visa and the job you are doing is not, uh, is not up to 3,000, then life is going to become very hard for you. You're going to be out frustrated and you may end up even deported or you may not have, you may end up even doing some funny, funny work. And if you're women, then definitely it will become very worse for you too because you'll end up doing some work that is not allowed to be done and which may lead to 
to deportation out of the country. So you need to be very careful in that situation. Now, when you are looking for those freelancer visa, I think that is a small few tips that you need to understand. Most of the middleman, you need to know the actual owner of the visa, and that is the Qatari uh, or the local or the citizen of the country, and how to get to that person. Normally, most of the time, this middleman, after giving us, they'll definitely, after getting the money, they'll run away from us, and they'll just leave you in vain in that situation. Thank you so much. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. For any question that you really want to ask, please drop in the comment section. Ask. I'd always be more than to give back to you.